another episode with me, Living Free Ashley. Today we're making gluten-free vegan carrot cake. Um, I'm not too sure why I've been craving carrot cake. I don't know if it's because of Easter or because spring is here, but I've just been craving it. So that's what we're making today. Um, that recipe we're making is actually from a website, a blog called Give Me Some Oven. Love the name. Um, but I've made a few little tweaks to it. Um, just There's a few things that I changed up but I will put the link to the recipe so that you can see the original recipe and then I'll also write the instructions for my recipe, my version I should say. <laughs> for ingredients today, you need one quarter cup of ground flax, three quarter cup of water, two and a half cups of gluten-free flour blend, I'm using Bob's Red Mill one-to-one -one baking flour, one tablespoon of ground cinnamon, one and a quarter teaspoon of baking powder, one and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of sea salt, half a teaspoon of ground ginger. The original recipe calls for nutmeg and cloves. I'm not a big fan of it, so I've actually taken that out and then just added a little bit more ground ginger. Two cups of packed shredded carrots. A tip when you are shredding carrots if you don't have a food processor, wear gloves or else you'll have orange hands for a couple days. <laughs> One cup of organic cane sugar. The recipe also calls for double the amount of sugar, but I'm putting frosting on the cake, which I find really sweet. So I've taken down the amount of sugar in the cake and then the sweet icing can make up for that. Three quarter cup of melted coconut oil and optional one cup of chopped pecans or walnuts. I'm a huge nut fan, so I am getting really fancy and mixing pecans and walnuts together. Ooh. <laughs> Eight cups of powdered sugar, one and a half cups of vegan butter, three tablespoons of non-dairy milk, one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, two teaspoons of pure vanilla, one teaspoon of lemon juice, and a pinch of sea salt. You'll probably have leftover frosting because this does make a lot. So my suggestion is to put the leftover frosting in your freezer. It stays really well. So the next time you're making cupcakes or a cake, you can pull it out of your freezer and have frosting already made. You need to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. And today I'm using two round nine inch baking pans and I've greased them with a little bit of melted coconut oil. For the frosting, you'll need a stand mixer or a food processor. You can do it by hand as well, it'll just take a while. Okay, let's get started.
expensive and has a few more ingredients than some of my other videos, but believe me, it is worth it. So now you have this beautiful layered carrot cake that I am excited to delve into. <laughs> Thanks again for watching another episode of me, Living Free Ashley. I hope you all had a great Easter. Spend some time with family and friends. Don't forget to subscribe and cheers to living free. Mm -hmm.